So if I was saying, and let's go from, let's call this figure, uh, um, let's call this figure P, and let's call this figure P prime. All right. So if I was going to ask you, what is the transformation to go from P to P prime? And all we really need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just figure out, one, we want to make sure the transformation is, un is consistent among all the points. But all we're simply going to do is look at this and determine, well, what do I have to do go to go from one point to the next? So I'm going to choose this point right here. All right? And at this point, AJ, I have negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This point is at negative 9, 2. All right? And you can see from here, I transferred all the way down to this point, which is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, down 1, 2, 3, 4. So this point is at negative 4, negative 4. All right? So what my coordinate point did, what this graph did, is went from negative 9, 2, to negative 4 to negative 4. So what you guys got to think is, you know, how far do we travel in the x coordinates going to the y and the y coordinates? Yes. It's five, negative six. Five. Oh, you're going to me the answer. Yeah. Okay. So to go from negative nine to negative four, how far did we have to travel? And as you're mentioning, we had to go over five units, right? So you could say five. Why? Because what is negative nine plus five? Negative nine plus four. five is. Four. Then I had to go down, right? So 2 plus what gives you negative 4? 2 plus negative what gives you 4? Negative 4. Negative 6. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, what we do is on our transformation vectors is we add, remember, we add the vectors. If they're positive or the negative, we add the vectors to our original vector, our original point, to get the new point. And you guys can see that, that is that going to be, is this going to be consistent for all these points? Yes, it will. So the transformation vector is 5 comma negative 6, because when I add 5 to negative 9, and when I add negative 6 to 2, I get my new point, which is negative 4 and negative 4. OK? And so that's how you find the transformation vector. Just look at how it's traveling. Um, another way you guys could simply do this is just say, well, how far do I need to go from here to here? Well, I need to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I need to go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can just count as well and find the transformation vector. OK? So now let's take out a.